Hey everyone, I'm Josh, this is Cody, and today we're gonna to show you how to assemble your Heckler dual display AV card. To get started, we're gonna take our box and lay it down on its face so that we can have easy access to the tape. We're gonna grab our box knife and carefully cut the edges of the box. Cool, so then we're gonna flip the box to the other side. Then we're gonna take the lid of the box up off and we're gonna lay it out in front so that we can put our parts on top. Then we're gonna take our instruction manual, set that aside. So then we're gonna take each part out of the box and, and carefully put it on a soft surface. So we're gonna remove the rear legs first. And then we're gonna take the AV cart base And then we're gonna take the multi shelves. Set of casters, both breaking and non breaking. And last but not least, bag of parts. And then we're gonna take the foam layers out to reveal the vertical arms. So, in the bag of parts that you'll be receiving, uh, you'll receive the vertical arm assembly tool and screws. You're gonna have some uh, zip ties and zip tie mounts. We're going to have the rear leg assembly tool. The rear leg assembly screws will come installed in the legs themselves. And then we're going to have the uh, shelf mounting hardware for your multi shelves, uh, including the screws and the assembly tool. And then we'll have the TV mounting hardware you're going to use to mount the TV to the vertical arms. The first thing we're going to do is uh, start by removing the bolts from the legs. Next, we're gonna take our casters out of the packaging and grab the braking casters, and make sure that we're putting them on the front legs of the AV cart. The front legs of your AV cart are gonna be the wider set of legs. You're gonna to wanna to put the braking casters on the front. So now that we got the casters on the base of the AV cart, we're gonna go ahead and set it down, and now would be a good time to uh, put your brakes on. Next up, we're gonna be assembling the vertical arms to the base of the AV cart, so we're gonna to wanna to get our vertical arm assembly screw and vertical arm assembly tool to install. So there's gonna be a vertical arm for the, both the left and right side. Uh, you're gonna want the vertical arms pull pattern facing the inside. Using two people, we're gonna install the vertical arm to the base. You have one person holding the vertical arm at all times and then you're gonna take the vertical arm assembly screw and bring it up through the back. So you can go ahead and hand tighten it for a bit. And then you're gonna to wanna to finish it up with the assembly. At this point in the assembly process, you have a lot of freedom in choosing how to go about finishing the rest of your AV cart. As you can see, there are two hole patterns going up and down the vertical arms here. This first one will be to allow you to mount your displays, and then the one on the inside is gonna allow you uh, choices on, on where you can mount your multi shelves. So for this installation, we're gonna go ahead and install our shelves so that they can be used for video conferencing. So multi-shelf is an extremely versatile component shelf for AV cart. It can be installed in four different ways. You can mount it vertically like this and create a nice little pocket here. You can mount it upside down so that you have a nice uh, camera mounting slot here and a VESA mounting hole pattern on front. You can mount it as a tray to hold keyboards and mice, or you can mount it as a traditional shelf just to hold larger components like point, tilt, and zoom cameras. For our installation, uh, we're gonna take our multi-shelf and install it upside down like this so that we can install a video conferencing camera uh, beneath our TV. When you're installing the multi-shelf vertically, you're gonna use this set of holes. When you're installing the multi-shelf horizontally, you're gonna use this set of holes. One of your multi-shelves comes shipped with a four-port trip light power strip. This power strip comes pre-installed, but feel free to remove it if you don't need it. You can also remove the trip light power strip and install it to the back of the vertical arm here using the included mounting brackets. Next, we're gonna take our multi-shelf and install it above the other one. We're gonna stash our power strip and shelf neatly behind the TV so it stays out of sight. First thing we're gonna do is unbox our dual display kit. We're gonna take a box knife and carefully cut around the tape. And then we're gonna take the top half off. Dual display kit will include two mounting bars, the dual display kit assembly screws and tool, the TV mounting hardware, and an instruction guide. Install the mounting bar with this back surface resting directly up against the vertical arm.
you're going to be mounting two displays with a VESA 400 by 400 hole pattern, we made it pretty simple for you to install your dual display kit. If you can see, we've installed the dual display kit one hole down from the top. So we're going to do the same down here below the hand grip. We're going to install the first screw one down from the hole from the top. Posts that are included with your TV mounting hardware are metric 8 size. This is going to fit most displays. Uh, it's also possible that your TV uses a metric 6. Uh, if this is the case, uh, please contact service at hecklerdesign.com and we can help you out. The depth of the thread in the back of your display will vary from television to television, but the threaded post included with our TV mounting hardware should work with just about any display. So we're going to begin by twisting the threaded post by the rubber spacer in the back until we feel that it makes good contact with the bottom of the thread. Then we're going to continue twisting the rubber spacer to close the gap between the back of the television and the bottom of the spacer. Once we've got a snug fit, we're clear to take off the wing nut. With dual display kit, you can mount two TVs up to 75 inches with a VESA 400 hole pattern. Note that we've lined up the edge of the display near the center line here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place our other display on the other side of the dual display kit, and then we're going to slightly adjust the display so that they meet nicely in the middle. For this installation, we're working with some pretty light 65-inch displays, but if you're working with larger 75-inch displays that have a bit more weight to them, you're going to want to bring on a third person to help keep a hand on the displays while you're working on the other end of the dual display kit. So now, now that we have our two displays roughly on the display kit, we're gonna lightly loosen the wing nuts on the back of each and, and slide the two together to close the gap. So now that we've brought our two displays together to meet in the middle, uh, we're gonna go back through and uh, lightly tighten each wing nut evenly. We're gonna wanna make sure to apply uh, light but equal pressure to each one of the contact points. When you're fine tuning your dual display kit, you might notice that you might have a larger gap here at the top than you do at the bottom. It's a pretty simple fix. All you gotta do is have someone support the weight of the display on the end. And you go back and you loosen your wing nuts. While they're supporting the weight, you go back and you, you re-tighten them. One last check is to check that the uh, displays are even with each other. If they're not, no worries, easy fix. Go back behind and check your wing nuts and make sure you're applying even pressure. Lastly, we're going to take our power and networking cables and route them down the vertical arm and down the leg. We've already gone ahead and installed our zip tie mounts using a Phillips head screwdriver in the back of the vertical arm. Next, we're going to install the zip tie mounts into the legs. and that's how you assemble your Heckler Dual Display AV card. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at service at hecklerdesign.com. Thanks for watching.